Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's been a while since I made a video. Uh, I've been doing a little in, uh, improvements to the old Tahoe here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get a video of this thing. We're going to do a little run on the term lab here. Got it set up. And show you what I'm going to do here. We just did a little, uh, oh, we did a little uh, different deal here this year. I'm going to probably change it up again, but this is June now of 11. And we changed it up a little bit. I uh, uh, decided to add a couple more amplifiers. And I went ahead and I had a couple, well, I wanted to run a couple more in my 18s, but I just ended up doing one. Wipe right off this thing. So I had to fill that guy in and eliminate that. I haven't got it painted yet. Here, here we go, a little something new. Uh, as I said, you had to have all the batteries inside, so my box looks a little taller than it is, but uh, it, it's what I, all I can do. But this box, I, am, I, I just love the way this thing looks, because down inside you can actually see what I got going on here. And, like I said, three SMDs all set up inside there added a couple more amplifiers like I said a little more juice to them had four of them set in there but I just it, it was just too big a box I couldn't get over the top of those batteries without just being ridiculously high and then on top of that um, I didn't have enough way to mount the amplifiers inside of there so I could run enough power to them so I decided well three will work and three gain some so we'll be doing a test on it and see what it does I'm gonna be heading up to a competition right now a few minutes just want to give you guys kind of another look at what's going on here like I said I got my four 92,000 ones that I had then I went ahead and added a couple of more of them onto the other 18 and upholstered this box a little nicer you know it really it, it, it really looks nice in there it sets in there nice also an extra run of uh, extra run of one out going on there so I have all four runs going on now same setup down here for the highs Kind of that's kind of messy, but seems like nobody cares about what it does for the highs. All they care about, you know, the you know, SPL numbers. So sounds real good, plays low. It's blowing the Tahoe apart. Put some dynamite up into the top of it because it was literally blowing this thing apart. But like I said, it physically did blow my hatch out, so I had to go ahead and do something with that. But let's go ahead and get some numbers in this thing here. We'll put this in and we'll see what she'll do here this morning before we go over to the run. I'm going to try it out while to start with just because and we'll see what it puts up I'm not sure what's gonna happen with it all but we're gonna find out so let's turn this baby up and see what we can do get her down to 40 Hertz here and we're gonna see what it'll do Looks like about a 54 54.9 would like to get my 55 about what this has been doing actually a little bit lower the speakers are starting to break in now um, I've been beating on these things you know as my other video showed I like beating on them and a few times with these guys as I beat on these things they're getting better and better okay I'm back uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a Midwest SPL style that's the class that's I'm running the bands three so I'm gonna have to gain like five decibels to win this year so it's probably not gonna happen um, run up against guys with walls and minivans and, and just crazy things uh, obviously my stuff is all the way back there and I got my seats to put back up and stuff so um, you know it, mine serves a, a, a purpose too I go ahead and I, I haul kids around so I don't have a child seat in there I should have put it back in I guess but, um, run the extreme 3 class or extreme 4 class I'm sorry this year the extreme 4 class the 30 second average I'm doing pretty well with that I'm still a couple decibels low on that once again, you know, the guys have, uh, they have some good setups, man. These guys know what they're doing. So, um, you know, mine's daily driver. It does well. These guys drive theirs too, but it's just, uh, I'm trying to haul kids and stuff. And you know, there that goes. And I, I know they do too, but uh, for what I got, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly happy with this. We, we still got some improvements, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what I can do for Midwest SPL the, today. I'm going to put this back on a 40 hertz uh, test note here, and we're going to give it a shot. See how it does. Do a little test on music, uh, Midwest SPL style. Um, found me a little better song to run. Because right now, like I said, these speakers as they break in, I, I was at about 41, 42. 
now I'm, I'm really peaking at 40 hertz, so we're going to find a different song. We have a 30 second average, so we're going to go ahead and kick it up to this will do. 30 niggas with me in this motherfucker pool. So, ready for some dumb shit. about a seven tenths gain just by switching songs uh i just did a 53 around a 53 with little john and i just switched into this song here um and it, it's just you know just a frequency i'm talking maybe one one hurt i don't know if it was a little john peaking at 141 or i'm sorry 41 or 42 and this guy here is peaking right at 40 if you're looking and uh rolling a 53 7 now it's midwest spl um pretty happy about that on music so there you go, and we're off to the show. Later. All right. 